What's up, everybody? This is SymphoniaFan64 here, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy I Dawn of Souls. Now, in the last part, we explored a bit of the Lifespring Grotto, in which mostly most of the floors we went through, except for the last one we were on, had nothing to do with being a reminiscent to the Sunken Shrine. So, anyway... In this part, we will be taking on the first of four bosses that reside in this dungeon. So now, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get going! Now, unlike the previous bosses we faced, in order to fight this boss, we have to find him. Yep, we actually have to trigger him to come out. And the only way you can do that is if you talk to a specific mermaid. Now, I'm just gonna... I know which mermaid you have to talk to... But just for the sake of it, I'm going to talk to all of them. This is the mermaid village of Seahold. A strange man carrying a halberd arrived not too not long ago. Apparently, he's looking for a sword of matchless power. Since our village is connected to the sea, all sorts of things wash up there. Perhaps that sword is among them. Where is he now? Hmm. If you head north, You'll find a place with several pillars standing in a diagonal row. There should be a darling blue mermaid there. Try asking her. So yeah, that's the mermaid you have to talk to. There's going to be a blue mermaid north of here. But we're talking to all the mermaids just because I can. I've heard that there are other places where mermaids live, too. Yep, and I've been to there. It's called the Sunken Shrine, which is kind of reminiscent. These two aren't the blue mermaids. A suspicious looking man? He was here! I saw him! When I said I hadn't seen what he was looking for, he looked really broken up about it. I felt so bad for him that I told him about all the stuff that washes up at the open area in the middle of town. Then he just ran off, happy as can be! So apparently we're trying to find a guy with a giant halberd looking for a sword of matchless power. I have no idea who this guy is. The force of water was greatly weakened, but it seems to have recovered now. What a relief! You have me to thank for that. Are those the crystals? Wow! The warriors of light sure are younger than I expected. What's that supposed to mean? Are you implying that we're kids? I'm 21! They say an enormous monster was living in the Sunken Shrine. I hope everything turned out okay. Yeah, you're talking about the Kraken. I turned him into sushi. Alright. Talk to all the mermaids there. Let's go. Let's go over here first. Oh, wait, no. Wrong way. Do you like our village? It's nice to live in such a quiet, peaceful place. Yeah, it is kind of nice, except for the fact that it looks like shit. I wonder what it's like up there on land. I'd love to see it someday. Trust me, you ain't missing anything much. Uh, this isn't the Blue Mermaid. People? Here? How odd. It isn't often that anyone besides mermaids comes to our village. You do realize you're underwater, right? How come you haven't gone belly up yet? Oxiel? Huh? What will they think of next? I don't know. This is my favorite cave. I feel at peace here. I don't. This is another place where you can... So this is a place where you can actually find the boss, but seeming as there's nothing here to find... We are just going to go over here. So that's one place you can find the boss. But that's only if uh, you talk to the Blue Mermaid. Let's talk to this. I don't know if it contained a legendary sword, but a treasure chest washed up in a room northwest of here. You can probably find out what's inside it if you head over there. Oh! A man here was here sh early shouting, The legendary sword! Where is it? Is he a friend of yours? Nope. 
I've never met this guy. Then we see a bunch of broken robots. It looks like a broken robot. You don't say! Or, or it should be, oh really? The other day, I saw a barrel swimming through the ocean. But that couldn't be. Could it? Eh, you're just, your mind just playing tricks on you. <laughs> yeah, barrel swimming. <laughs> Are you... people? What are you doing here? Trying to find the guy whose ass I'm gonna kick? Can you imagine a place more peaceful? Why not live here with us? Um... I don't think I want to grow gills. That big guy is great! You little guys are great! Everybody is great! Well, looks like somebody's in a chair. Have I seen anyone suspicious? Have I ever? This guy wanted to know if there was a treasure chest inside. When I said yes, he barged right in. Well, as soon as he rushed in, I locked the door behind him. But I can't keep him locked up forever. Would you help me chase him out? Out of there? Oh, maybe I didn't have to talk to the blue mermaid. I'm going to go with no. Hmm, some help you are. Well, that's because I'm just wa waltzing around. My friend in the sunken shrine said the Warriors of Light came. What? You're the Warriors of Light? Indeed we are. This is the Blue Mermaid you have to get talk to. I like it here. Don't get me wrong, but it is nice to do a little sunbathing every now and then. Wait, mermaid sun... Oh yeah, that's right. They do. Stupid me. I keep running into this big man lately. Maybe you should stop running into him. Um, this is another place, as you can tell, you can find you can find him. And seeming as the door's locked, it probably means he's in there. Uh, also, this is another place you can go to to find him. This place leads to the warp zone, so you can also find him while you are attempting to exit. The door won't budge. It's been like this for a little while now. Come to think of it, I haven't been able to get in since that dangerous looking man showed up. And I already talked to you, so now it's time to talk to that blue mermaid. So as soon as you talk to her, she will actually reveal the location of where the next boss is, where the boss is. If it's that suspicious fellow you're after, he was right over there until a little while ago. I don't think he found what he was looking for, because he ran right off, ran off right away. He was heading south, so I'll bet you can find him down that way. There's a pink mermaid in a room down there. Talk to her. She might know more. So apparently we have to talk to a pink mermaid. That's not Pink Mermaid. But I want to see what, what this is all about. I'm off to play at the water's edge. You should come too. Okay, there's a treasure chest here. I wish I had been born with red fins. Why? You look great in green. Then again, all you mermaids look alike. But here's a treasure chest. So, that could possibly be where I can fight this boss. I'm just gonna check something. See? Okay, here's a pink mermaid. Okay, but she says nothing. There's a pink mermaid. Come out of here. Uh, she says nothing. if he's down at that other place. Who knew trying to find a boss would be so difficult? I probably... Nope. I was right. 
Why did it tell me to look for a pink mermaid then? So apparently that place was where I should fight the boss. I'm an idiot. <sighs> so I go in here and... Assuming as there's a treasure chest in here. I'm going to open it and... Ha ha ha! I'm afraid the contents of this chest are already in my possession! Ha! And thanks to you, the root of my egress is clear! But before I go, I'll think I'll test the power of Excalibur on... Oh. You! Or, wait, no, no, I should say this. this. I think I'll test the power of Excalibur on... Oh. You! <laughs> You think the Eccentric Gamer is the only one that can do that? Nope. And now it's time to fight the boss. And we are going up against... Gilgamesh from Final Fantasy V! Or as the Japanese like to pronounce it, Gilgamesh! <laughs> oh god, I love how the Japanese pronounce the he names of their characters. Okay. So, apparently we're going to be fighting bosses from Final Fantasy V! So, let's talk a little bit about Gilgamesh, shall we? Pretty much, Gilgamesh attacks with swift attacks swiftly. He can deal some ma dish out some massive damage. However, he's one of the easiest bosses to beat out of all the bosses you can fight in this dungeon. He's practically the easiest. Uh, also, he can also use an all-party attack known as, I believe it's called Wind Slash, which means and that can deal out some, some ferocious damage. He also has an attack known as Excalibur. Not Excalibur. Excalibur. P. Pretty much, if he attacks with Excalibur, he only does one in point of damage, because the Excalibur, or as it's later called in the later Final Fantasy games, Excalibur, is a poor replica of the Excalibur. And guess who has the real one? Me! I have Excalibur! So pretty much, I don't really have to... Um, for my strategy to beat this guy, um, I wouldn't recommend... Um, enhancing your physical attack serves, because he's just an easy guy. He has at least 8,000 some odd HP. At least that's what I've read. So pretty much just, uh, have your physical attackers just beat the loving shit out of him. Um... Have your healer heal, and if you have a, and just use physical, and use the spells. See, there he goes with Excalibur, and that Yulaga was completely pointless. I also have a question, and this is for all you diehard Final Fantasy fans out there who are watching this video. I have a question. Why is it that the Excalibur, when it is equipped to a party member, only does weak as shit damage, but when it is thrown, it does quadruple nine damage? I am not kidding. And Felicia, why did you cast the log of that early? And there he goes with Wind Slash. Kind of dropped the ball there, Felicia. I am disappointed. Oh well. At least we're just fighting against Gilgamesh. I mean, if we were fighting any other boss, this would be this would be uh, more worrisome. But we're fighting Gilgamesh. I love this guy. Wait until I start let's playing Final Fantasy V. This guy is hilarious. He's pretty much the comic relief. And there we go, Felicia. Now you're healing me right. You look how much damage he did. Holy crap. Don't worry. A good Kiraga will fix that. I'm just making this longer on purpose, to add more sustenance. Like I said, he's pretty easy. HOLY 
Holy shit! You dickhole! You fucking dickhole! You killed Felicia! You killed my girlfriend! Now you must die, sir! You must die! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, you, you, you pissed off the wrong guy, Gilganesh. I, I was hoping, I, I wasn't hoping to do this. To, but, uh, you forced me. You forced my hand. You forced it. You have nobody to blame but yourself. You have, you have nobody to blame but yourself. <laughs> oh, I hope... I hope to God I get to use it. I hope to God. I hope to fucking God. I hope to God. That. <laughs> oh, and also you can cast protect, which increases his defense. He usually does that when he's low on HP. <laughs> God damn it, Joel! You ruined it for me. God damn it! I wanted to avenge Felicia! Damn it, Joel! You took away my glory! God damn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, Man... That was perfect if, if I would've... Ah, uh, well we beat him. And as a reward we get the Genji Gloves! Which are the strongest gloves to get in the entire game! And guess who we can equip them? And, of course, after defeating him, the door that leads to the warp room unlocks. I think we can put those things in us. Because I look schmexy in them. And then after that, I'm going to heal up everybody. I, uh, I underestimate Gilgamesh there. Huh. Oh, boy. That was... That, that... Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that, right? You, you're all going to pretend you you didn't see that. So here we are at the warp room, and here you can either decide to warp out of here or continue on exploring the dungeon. And you all know what, ends, what I'm going to do. I'm going to warp out of here. No, just kidding. I'm going to explore the rest of this dungeon. So. That's it for this part, ladies and gentlemen. We have defeated Gilgamesh. And, uh, hope you all forget that, uh, I let Felicia get KO'd by him. That I underestimated him. Gilgamesh. I underestimated Gilgamesh. Of all people. <laughs> We're all just gonna forget that. We're all just gonna forget that I under uh, underestimated Gilgamesh. So, um, anyway, I'm going to end this part off here, and... In the next part, we are going to explore a bit more of the Life Spring Grotto. But until then, this is Symphonia Fan 64 signing off. Oh boy, I underestimated Gilgamesh. <laughs> but I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs>